Subscribe to Extreme Droid channel and press this bell icon and be the first to watch the latest tips and tricks videos. If you have a OnePlus 3 or 3T and you're looking for little more customization options while maintaining the same overall experience of Oxygen OS, then folks, you're watching the right video. Freedom OS, which is just a modified version of Oxygen OS, gives you the ability to customize your device even further. This OS also gives you the ability to install the ROM according to your preference. For instance, if you don't want to install any specific system app or Google app, then you can simply uncheck that while installation. And you can also install tons and tons of mods. So basically in this video, I am going to talk about some of the major features of Freedom OS and I will also give you a quick overview regarding performance, stability and battery life. And a bonus for you guys at the end of this video in which I will show you how to install this OS. So do watch the video till the end. Now with that being said, let's start. So let's start with the performance. Now I am using Freedom OS since last week and the OS feels quite stable with my daily day to day usage. It is running on the latest version of Android that is Nougat 7.1.1 and the security patch is of 1st March 2017. The Freedom OS version is 2.7 which is again the latest stable build of this OS. Recently OnePlus has released the latest beta ROM for OnePlus 3 and 3T which has a completely redesigned UI like Pixel and lots of new features which were added. But none of the beta features are added to this OS but still there are lots of things you can do. If you are interested, then you can watch my video on that. I will leave a card for that at the top right corner. Moving forward to its battery performance which is a major concern of every user and I think the battery performance of Freedom OS is slightly better than the current stable Oxygen OS version 4.1.3. Before installing Freedom OS, I was testing the open beta version 4 for OnePlus 3T and in the usage of 5 days, I found that the battery was draining very fast even when I am not using the phone and that was really disappointing for me. Also recently many of my viewers were commenting that after updating their devices to Nougat, they are facing battery drainage issues. So I will highly recommend you to install this Freedom OS if you are very concerned about your battery life. Because in a usage of about a week, I didn't face any battery drainage issue and I am getting anywhere between 6 to 7 hours of screen on time which is really great. So now let's talk about some of the features that you are going to get in Freedom OS and let's start with the feature that I like the most. It's called Magisk and I'm pretty sure that most of you guys don't know what that is because it's also new to me. Magisk is currently the best alternative to Chainfire Super Su. In fact, it is much better than Super Su. Unlike Super Su, which only grants or denies root permission for specific apps, Magisk has the ability to hide root from an app completely, meaning you can use apps like Pokemon Go which does not work on rooted devices. You can also install tons of mods using Magisk and I'm soon making a video on that so stay tuned. Next one is Viper for Arise and this is basically a module that enhances the overall sound quality of your speaker, Bluetooth and headset at software level. When you open the app, the UI is quite simple. At the top you will find 4 options which are headset, phone speaker, Bluetooth and USB or dock. There are lots of different sound mods available in each section which you can enable according to your listening experience. Next up we have Substratum Theme Engine which was previously known as Layers. It is just like Cyanogen Mod Theme Engine using which you can change the overall look of the UI. There are lots of Substratum themes available on Play Store but most of them are paid. The last one is called Addaway and I think you know what that is. It is basically an ad blocker which blocks the ad from certain apps and website to give you a better Android experience. So guys these were some of the features of Freedom OS and as I promised at the starting of the video that I am going to show you a full tutorial to install Freedom OS on your OnePlus 3 or 3T. And a good news for OnePlus 1 and OnePlus 2 users that you can also install this ROM by using the same method. All the download links will be in the description box and with that being said, let's start the process. The prerequisites are, first, your bootloader should be unlocked and second, you should have a pre-installed TWRP recovery. Now, in case you don't have an unlocked bootloader and pre-installed TWRP recovery, then don't worry, I had already made a video on that. So just pause this video and click on the card that pops up at the top right corner. Or you can also find the link of that video in the description box. So first watch that video and follow the steps and then head over to this video. 
Now, once you have successfully installed the TWRP recovery, head over to your PC and download the Freedom OS zip file and put it in the internal memory of your device. After that, switch off your device. Now press and hold volume down plus power key at the same time until you see this OnePlus logo. This will basically boot your device in TWRP recovery. Now the very first thing that you have to do is to make a backup of your current ROM in case you have ended with a boot loop, then you can easily restore your previous ROM. Once that is done, click on install and navigate the Freedom OS zip file that we downloaded earlier and select it. Now swipe this blue button to right in order to flash the zip file. Now a set of wizard will pop up, from here you have to select your preferred language, then click next. Now click on install and make sure you have selected no for clean flash then press next. From here you can select the google apps that you want to install so select that and press next. Now this menu gives you a choice to install system apps so again select the apps that you want on your device and hit next. Now these are some extra mods and from here you can enable root access and install some other cool mods like Aries sound system, substratum theme engine and many more. Once that is done, click next and from here you can choose two different ways to root your device. I would highly prefer Majisk because it is better than SuperSU as I explained earlier. After selecting your choice of apps and mods, click install and flash this ROM. This will take around 10 minutes to finish. Once flashing is done, reboot your device and after rebooting is finished, your Freedom OS will be installed. So just set up your device and enjoy the freedom of this Freedom OS which I think is the best custom ROM for OnePlus 3 and 3T. So guys that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you do then do consider subscribing to my channel for more future videos like this and don't forget to press that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I will see you guys in my next one.